Let's now go to exercise number two. And in this exercise, we need to fill the gaps in each sentence. And there are five sentences in this exercise. Now, on the left here, we have a list of countable and uncountable nouns to place into the gaps. And depending on if they're countable or uncountable, we can add an article, a or an, or a plural, s. So, sentence number one. I only had two something of wine. From the list of words, the correct word is glass. Here, we're using it after the word two, so we're going to use it in its countable sense. And the full sentence is, I had two glasses of wine. Notice also that glass is one of those nouns which takes es instead of just s in the plural. Sentence number two. They're nice something. Where did you get them? Well, from our list on the left, the correct word is shoe. Now, shoe is countable, and here we have an indication that it should be in the plural. So, the full sentence should be, they're nice shoes, plural s, where did you get them? Sentence number three now. I have something at least once a day. From the list, the correct word is rice. Rice is uncountable, so we cannot add an a or an or a plural s. So the full sentence should be, I have rice at least once a day. Sentence number four now. Sorry I'm late. I had something with my car. Well, we have two options here, and the correct word is problem. Now, problem is countable, and we can use it here in either the singular form or in the plural form. If we use it in the singular form, we would say, I had a problem with my car, with the article. If we want to use it in the plural, we would say, I had problems with my car, S being plural. Number five, finally, I need some something to think. Well, the word is time, and time is one of those nouns which can be both countable or uncountable. In this sentence, the sense is uncountable. We're not thinking about one time, two times, or three times. So, the full sentence should be, I need some time to think. No article and no plural, because time in this sense is being used in the uncountable form. So that's the end of the exercises for countables and uncountables. In the next lesson, we're going to look at the three types of articles in English. A or an, that's one type, the and zero article.